How's it going everyone? I want to give you guys a heads up on a major free-to-play title that has finally dropped on PlayStation after years being on other platforms. Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis as well as PSO2 are available on the PlayStation Store right now. Also, an open beta for an upcoming free-to-play title open to everyone uh, is alive right now. You can check that out. We'll give you a heads up on that. And I want to round out this video by looking at the PSN deal of the week and some other really solid physical game deals that are running right now. I know I don't cover them as much, but as we're getting into the latter portion of the year, that is going to increase a little bit. So more on those at the end of this video. But yes, Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis is finally live right now. The latest installment of the free-to-play RPG Fantasy Star Online 2 is here. It's time to jump into Adventures Beyond Imagination, explore new mysteries with up to 32 other players, and make new friends in an all-new open world full of adventure. The Fantasy Star tradition of exhilarating action with simple controls continues. Dash and glide to your heart's content across an expansive game world. And of course, we've made the incredible character customization you know and love even better. Customize your very very own one-of-a-kind character down to the last detail. You can also download uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. Uh, New Genesis is around a 50 gigabyte install, I believe a little bit less than that. So you could go ahead and check that out right now. PlayStation Plus membership is not required. The basic game is free to play. However, premium paid items are available for purchase. But this is a game that you can play, uh, you know, freemium and, uh, you know, see how you like it. Maybe ask a couple of friends to jump in with you, especially because if you have a couple buddies that don't have a Plus subscription, you can tell them to download it and you can jump in together. The game has had a long release uh, running on a PC as well as Xbox, I believe, uh, going back a couple years. Years. So it's finally dropping on PlayStation. Nice to see the free to play library continue to expand on PlayStation platforms. And this is one that I think uh, will be very pleasant to look at. And uh, as far as gameplay goes, it's a super stylistic action MMORPG. So you might be into its gameplay style as well. So give it a look. Again, it is a free download right now on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Okay, moving on from that, I do want to know Kart Rider Drift's open beta is live right now on the PlayStation Store as well. This is open to everyone. So you can just go ahead. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Uh, otherwise, you can look it up on your PlayStation platform of choice and you can go ahead and download it. the game notes welcome to the newest free-to-play title in the popular multiplayer racing franchise with over 300 million players kart rider drift is the only free-to-play cross-platform kart racer with arcade thrills and the fastest drift field skilled competition with deep uh, kart and character customization and stunning high definition fun and chaos awaits you on the track challenge your friends across platforms with no barriers no paywalls and no pay to win elements preventing you from having a great time with topping the leaderboards created from the ground up for dynamic online gameplay there's new content added regularly and a huge content update every season this is a free-to-play title published by Nexon. Again, this is just the global racing test, so uh, the full release, I don't know when that is scheduled to happen, but I believe it is supposed to be later this year, so you'll be able to check that out, hopefully, uh, by the end of the year. But again, uh, the open beta, the global racing test, whatever you want to call it, uh, that is live on a plethora of platforms, but uh, you can download it on PlayStation right now. There are in-game purchases, of course, but uh, as far as just playing the game, that is free to play. Okay, moving on from that. Uh, talked about the various PSN sales running right now. Extended play, games under $15. Tons of deals available across those two sales, like over 1,200 deals. We'll do more in-depth coverage on those in a future video. However, I also do want to quickly mention the deal of the week is Sifu. It's 30% off for $28, or the premium edition is 30% off for $35. I want to mention this because the summer update just dropped as well. You don't need to buy the digital deluxe edition. That includes, I believe like a soundtrack and like a digital art book so not, nothing too crazy buy the base game if you're interested i feel like 28 dollars is a nice discount on a game that's still a relatively recent release i think it came out back in march uh yeah i believe march received really well a little bit on the challenging side however they did add an easier optional mode so if you do want an easier time going through the game, that is an option now as well. The recent update also added like new costumes and things of that nature, but uh, this is a game that they've been supporting for a little bit, so nice to see that persist. There is a physical copy that has been released, like the Vengeance Edition. That does go for a little of, bit of a heftier price point, but it goes on sale every now and again. So if you do want it physically, that is an option as well. And speaking of physical games, got some really good deals for you guys. 
Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, yes, it's available on PS Plus Extra, I know, but some of you guys don't want to subscribe to that, is $19.99 over on Amazon right now. I think that's a great price for Guardians of the Galaxy. This is a game that I talk really highly about, and when I played this game, and still uh, now, I haven't watched all the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and when I played this game, I didn't watch any of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I honestly was not familiar with any of these superheroes at all, um, but I really enjoyed the game, uh, and I'm not a big Marvel guy either, but uh, I thought the cast of characters in this game was really strong. I thought their interactions were just humorous at times, but also, like, just pretty enjoyable to see it play out. Rocket's a great character. I enjoyed Star-Lord's interactions with him, and, uh, yeah, the whole cast is pretty solid. The game itself is, uh, like, relatively lengthy as well. You know, 12 hours or so for a single-player game, maybe a little bit longer. But, uh, I know some people thought the gameplay got a little bit repetitive. I like the utilization of the different powers and whatnot. Overall, I really enjoyed the game. So, $19.99, I think, is a great price for this. If you have Plus Extra, play it through Plus Extra. It's well worth your time. Definitely want to mention this deal for those of you that are going to get ripped off on the PlayStation Store right now for Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5. The Kingdom Hearts All-in-One package is available for 30 bucks on Amazon, so please just go buy that if you have a disc-based PS5 or if you're on the PS4. Please do not be buying the, the gouged-up prices that are the Kingdom Hearts titles on PSN right now. The only thing this is missing is the Remind DLC, and that's like $21 or something like that on the PlayStation Store right now. I wouldn't even bother with that at this point. Wait for it to get a lot cheaper, but this includes 1.5, 2.5, 2.8, Kingdom Hearts 3. It's just a ton of content for your dollar. This is the best way to either, you know, if you played Kingdom Hearts back in the day and you want to get back into it, or you're experiencing it for the first time, uh, this is a great collection. Birth by Sleep's in there. Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, which I think is the best Kingdom Hearts game. Ray Chain of Memories is in there. Uh, Dream Drop Distance, I believe, is in there. There's a ton of stuff. Kingdom Hearts 3 is in here as well. It's just a loaded collection, and there's, uh, like, other small cutscene episodes and whatnot that, you know, the Kingdom Hearts story is very, very difficult to follow. There's, like, so many pieces, like, just putting everything together. Uh, but this is a good way to get into the franchise. Also, as far as Amazon deals go, Neo, The World Ends With You, $19.99. Just a fantastic deal. Super underrated JRPG. It seems like this didn't do gangbuster numbers commercially, but it is a great uh, JRPG that I would highly recommend. Gameplay solid, soundtrack is some of the best that Square Enix has put out, and given that it's a Square Enix JRPG, like, that's pretty high standards, and Neo The World Ends With You just has a tremendous soundtrack. The original did as well. I would recommend you to find a way to play the original. You can play it on, like, iOS and phone. You can play it on Nintendo Switch. If you have a DS, you try to get it that way as well. It'd be nice if it was available on PlayStation, but, uh, alas, it is not right now. So, um, still, you can jump into Neo The World Ends with you for sure. Um, it's just the first game is really good as well. 20 bucks for this is just great, though. I would highly, highly recommend it. And lastly, Mass Effect Legendary Edition on Best Buy is $19.99 as well great price. I mean, do I really need to sell you on one of the greatest gaming trilogies of all time? I do not think it's hyperbole in saying that. Mass Effect 1 obviously shows its age. Mass Effect 2 is one of the best games of all time, in my opinion. Um, it's just a masterclass in terms of a third-person action RPG. Just a fantastic, fantastic game. Narrative is so strong in that game, and gameplay is so much improved from the original. And Mass Effect 3 is really good. Like, ending aside, and they did update it, but Mass Effect 3 is still a pretty solid game in its own right, and to get the whole collection for $19.99, I think it's a great pickup so yeah link to that on best buy in the description box below and that is gonna do it for me again fantasy star online 2 new genesis available right now cart rider drift available right now in open beta deal of the week sifu and a lot of great physical deals links to everything as always will be in the description box below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.